petroleum products will not last forever. There is an urgent need to conserve these scarce resources like diesel and fuel by adopting good driving habits, better maintenance of vehicles, by use of public transport instead of own vehicles. So friends, let us contribute in saving the fuel and help the nation. Download the PCRA Android app to know more about saving fuel issued in public interest by Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Government of India. बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है सक्षम क्विज एक नेशनल लेवल कंपटीशन है और एक बहुत ही अच्छा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पीसीआरए द्वारा ऑर्गेनाइज्ड है और यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छे फैसिलिटीज़ है हम दूसरे स्टेट्स के बच्चों के साथ मिलने जुलने का मौका मिल रहा है एंड द बिगेस्ट रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑन जनरेशन लाइक एज इज हैव टू वॉट एवर द आंसर्स गेव एज वू हैव टू कंजर्व इट एंड वू हैव टू सस्टेन इट फॉर द फ्यूचर जनरेशन वी फील नाइस एंड वी वी कॉम्पिटेट स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉम्पिटेटिव फॉर अवर जोन वी हैव डन लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क टू कम अंटिल हियर like um, there are many sleepless nights which i have done to uh, come to here and uh, there are also um, much group work between me and my partner to come to this stage well hello there the famous english poet john keats said and i quote the poetry of earth is never dead with that thought ladies and gentlemen i gautam bose your quiz master of the day welcomes you to pcra presents saksham 2018 a pan india inter school quiz competition which talks about the environment and its sustainability well the journey of saksham thus far has been nothing short of an exciting one we began hamari journey ye start hui thi विथ अ ऑनलाइन एलिमिनेशन राउंड जहाँ पे ऑलमोस्ट इकतीस हजार स्कूल से दो लाख बच्चों ने पार्टिसिपेट किया था उसके बाद उनका अगला पड़ाव था द डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल कॉम्पिटिशन और आज हमारे साथ कुछ चुनिंदा टीम्स हैं जो कि अपने स्टेट के चैंपियंस हैं So what are we waiting for come let's together have a round of introduction with the teams starting with team number 1 who are the champions of Andhra Pradesh let's welcome Teja Vidya Mandir and please introduce yourselves to the television audience My name is Nikhat Afrin I'm studying in 10th standard I'm from Teja Vidya Mandir Andhra and your Pradesh friend is? And I'm Swetha I'm in 10th grade as well and I'm in Teja Vidya Mandir from Andhra Pradesh Okay before we go any further This is the first all girls team to have made this far. So special round of applause to team number 1. Very very well done girls. And I'm tempted to ask you one simple thing. Since the quiz is all about environment, sustainability and things related to it, what is the one simple thing that you practice in your everyday life which contributes towards a greener and cleaner india just one simple thing and i take up the responsibility of organizing a program clean and school uh, clean and green school in our school so that i think being responsible is what helps us more and nothing more than it will work out fantastic let's clap for them once again fantastic effort girls now moving across to uh, my near right to table number 2 the champions from karnataka let's welcome daffodils concept school and please introduce yourselves to the audience hello my name is sai rahul choudhury and i am from uh, karnataka i am studying in class 10th hello this is pratik from class uh, 9th and uh, i am from the karnataka all right gentlemen uh, you look good in your green blazers so i have a different question for you and be truthful about it how long have you been preparing for this quiz if at all Actually we started preparing as soon as we got a call from PCRA saying that you are selected for zonal levels but 
there was a shock for us uh, i had my prelims started uh, in the same dates and he had his final exams so we were not able to concentrate uh, uh, properly on both the things so it was uh, something difficult but i think uh, we have done our level best to move through well whether you have done your level best or not that only time will tell because in about 1 hour from now you all know you are playing for that last spot in the national finals so whether your effort bears any fruit or not we'll know shortly for the moment all the best to you thank, thank you and then going to the left of the stage are the champions of odisha dav public school please introduce yourselves i'm pritam acharya i'm from dav public school odisha and i read in class 10 hi i'm krishna aditya mohanty reading in class 10 representing dav public school siria katak odisha all right welcome both gentlemen and my question to you would be rather simple team 2 says they kind of prepared they did not get much time but they kind of prepared to win this quiz so have the other three teams do you have any special strategy to defeat the three teams how are you going to win this quiz we will try to be extra careful in the buzzer round as it is the round where most of the team lose their marks that's correct so that's a good strategy but sometimes you have to be fast also so all the half chances have to be taken we'll come to the buzzers in the later part of the quiz so as of now welcome let's clap for them once again please well done for having reached thus far and now to team number 4 who have qualified by a tie breaker round so welcome the team from telangana teja could you please introduce yourselves to the audience my name is abram from teja talent school godot and your partner is hello my name is arun kumar i am from 9th class all right and team uh, teja telangana you need to tell us what is that one simple thing that you do in your everyday life which probably contributes to a greener cleaner tomorrow i started swachh kodat to clean our city swachh what swachh kodat okay what is that if you could explain that to us we started planting plants in our streets okay so you do that yourself is it fantastic doing that at such a early age it's really a lesson for all of us well then ladies and gentlemen these are the best four teams we are calling them the indian savers the four champion teams from the south zone let's welcome all of them once again with a round of applause Thanks. all right so now comes the crux of the matter let me explain to you the rules of the game we have a total of 5 rounds we'll explain each round as we come to it but first the starting round the opening round are eight questions on environment here we'll ask two direct question to each team questions do not pass if you get it right you get plus 10 points there are absolutely no negatives koi negative marking nahi hai har prashn ke aapko char option diye jayenge aapka kaam kafi simple hai you have to select the right answer from the four options hopefully all of you will be able to do that clear so all the best let's roll with the first question which is a direct for teja vidya mandir andhra pradesh and your first question coming up on your monitors now this is the question on planet earth most of the fresh water exists as ice caps and glaciers out of the remaining fresh water the largest proportion is in dash and your options are is found in atmosphere as moisture and clouds b is found in fresh water lakes and rivers c they exist as ground water or do you think it's d exists as soil moisture and we think it's c exists as ground water you sound confident about your answer you want to stick with it yeah ladies and gentlemen opening 10 points well done well answered 10 points to you 
It does exist as ground water. All right then, moving to the second question, Joki Hogi, a direct question, Daffodils Concept School, Karnataka ke liye. Agar aap ready hai, to ye raha aapka prashna aapke monitor pe. Which of the following is not a component of India's national action plan on climate change? And your options are A, national mission on sustainable agriculture. Option B, national mission on sustainable energy. Option C, national water mission. Or option D, national mission on sustainable habitat. Now, you have about 10 seconds. Do ponder upon the question. Spend your time well. You have 10 seconds. Do not jump the gun. Yes, Daffodils Concept School. Option D, option National Mission on Sustainable Habitat. I'm afraid that's an incorrect answer. Which means I'm going to bounce this up back to the audience. And we have some fantastic prizes to be given away courtesy PCRA. So whoever wants to take this, just raise your hand and I'll give an opportunity to as many people as I can. So I'm Sachin Rao from Cambridge Foundation School. All right, Sachin, what do you think is the right answer? So it is National Mission on Sustainable Energy. Option energy. B. Ladies and gentlemen, he is absolutely right. Let's clap for Sachin. Good answer there coming out from Sachin. Wonderful. All right then, unfortunately, team number two does not get any points on the last question. But not to worry, we have a long quiz ahead. I'm sure you are going to make amends. Now I'm going to go to my bio team number three, ke paas, jo ki hai Odisha ke champions, DAV Public School. If you're ready, we'll start your direct question coming on your monitors now. You've got a rather simple one. You have to tell me what is hydroponics hydroponics is dash and your options are a plant growth in liquid culture medium b plant growth in mineral deficient soil c soil conservation or is it d plant growth under lab conditions option a plant growth in liquid culture medium they're absolutely right well answered plus 10 points Plus 10 points to DAV School, Orissa. All right, moving now towards team four, which is Teja Telangana. Teja Telangana, here comes your direct question on your monitors. Now, which ministry has initiated system of air quality and weather forecasting and research known as SAFAR? And your options are as follows. A. Ministry of Science and Technology B. Ministry of Environment and Forests C. Ministry of Earth Sciences or is it D. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare There are a lot of clues, a lot of clues Think wisely and I'm sure you will have the right answer You have roughly about 10 seconds to ponder upon this one Sir, option A. Ministry of Science and Technology I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. You do not get any points on this one. I'm going to bounce that back to the audience. Right in the front, the gentleman there in the first row. Yes, first your name? Samaksh Monga from Cambridge Foundation School. Samaksh, good name. Ministry of Environment and Forest. No, I'm afraid that's not the right answer either. So I'll pass that on to the gentleman there in the third row. Aditya from Cambridge Foundation School. Yes, Aditya. What's it's your answer? C. It's C. Ministry. It's C, which is Ministry of Earth Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, Aditya is absolutely right. Let's clap for it. Aditya. We are going to continue in the same way, starting now with Team 1. Team 1, girls, if you're ready, here comes your question on your monitors. Global climate change is being attributed to the atmospheric increase in which two gases reduced by human activities and your options are a ozone and methane option b nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide option c methane and carbon dioxide d ozone and carbon dioxide 
and it's C methane and carbon dioxide. Ladies and gentlemen, the girls are right once again. Full 10 points. Well answered. All right then. Daffodils Concept School, you missed your last direct question. I hope you make amends on the next one. Here comes your direct question on your monitors now. Which of the following does not affect the sea level change? Mind you, the question is, does not affect. And your options are as follows. A, Antarctic ice sheet. B, small glaciers and ice caps. C, Arctic sea ice. Or is it D, Greenland ice sheet? They are still thinking. Daffodils Concept School, you have the right answer. Option B, small glaciers and ice caps. No, that's not the answer I'm looking for. I'm going to bounce that again back to the audience. In the first row, I'm Rushil Sardeva from class 9th from okay. Cambridge Foundation School. Right, what's your answer? So, my answer is the Greenland option. Greenland. No, that's not the right answer either. So, I'm going to give you the right answer. The right answer is the Arctic Sea Ice option C. So besides the quiz master, nobody gets any points on this one, I'm afraid. All right then, moving to team number three, DAV Public School, Orissa, for their direct question. Here it comes on your monitors. Biomass energy is which of the following? Or aapke options hai. Option A, formed through photosynthesis. B, caused by heat due to large mass of earth option c has been used for only a few years option d the predominant source of commercial heat energy in india option c has been used for only a few years not really not really teams are finding this round a little tough i will give the answer for your benefit the correct answer was Option A, form through photosynthesis. That was the right answer. The last question of this round is a direct for Teja Telangana. Teja Telangana, if you are ready, we'll start your question now. Carbon dioxide is called greenhouse gas because one of the following. A, it is used in photosynthesis. B, it absorbs infrared radiation option c it emits visible radiation or is it d its concentration remains always higher than the other gases so it's option b option b which is it is absorbs infrared radiation infrared radiation well you don't sound too convinced about your own answer but let me break the good news to you. That is absolutely right. Let's clap for them. Full 10 points. They get full 10 points. All right then, at the close of uh, the first round, some teams did splendidly well, while uh, some others could not pick up uh, too many points. This is how the scorecard looks like. Team number one is on 20 points. Let's clap for the girls. Well done, girls. Daffodils Concept School Karnataka, they are yet to open their account, but I'm sure they are going to do that very, very shortly. Towards Team 3 from DAV Public School, Orissa, they have answered one of the questions correctly. They are on 10 points. Let's clap for them. And to Team number 4, Teja Telangana, who is also on 10 points. Let's clap for them as well. All right then, uh, moving into the second round. But before I tell you about the rules of the new round, listen to them carefully. 10 points per correct answer. Questions do not pass. We have four questions in this round, which means one direct question to each team. And all questions will be related to science and technology.
All right. So play well. First question for Teja Vidya Mandir, Andhra Pradesh. Here it comes on your screen. This is your question, team one. Water is highly effective coolant for a car engine due to which of the following? A. Because water boils at a comparatively high temperature. B. Evaporation of water produces a lot of cooling. C. Water, it has a very high specific capacity. Or is it D? Water is a good conductor of heat. Should be simple enough. You must have read it in your science textbooks. What is going to be your answer, team one? And uh, it is D, water is a good conductor of heat. No, that's not the reason why water is an effective coolant. I see a lot of hands in the audience. Let me throw that back to the girl in the last row. My name is Neha from Cambridge Foundation School. Right, Neha, what do you think is the reason for water being an effective coolant? It's B. It's B. And what was the option? You don't remember that? Option B was evaporation of water produces lot of cooling. Neha, I'm afraid that's not the right answer. Anybody else who wants to take this? All right, let's pass the microphone to this gentleman here. I am Shivam Jindal of Cambridge Foundation School. Right, Shivam, what is your answer? Option C. Option C, which is water has a very high specific heat capacity. Yes, sir. Shivam is absolutely right. Let's clap for him. Good answer there, Shivam. That was the reason, girls, I'm afraid you did not answer it correctly, hence we cannot give you any points. All right, moving then to team number two, Daffodils Concept School, Karnataka. Here comes your direct question on your monitors. The Param series of supercomputers developed in India is by which of the following institutions? And your options are as follows. IIS or the Indian Institute of Science, Center for Development of Advanced Computing is option B. TIFR or Tata Institute of Fundamental Research is option C. And Electronic Corporation of India. What do you think is the right answer? Param, of course, as you know it, is India's first supercomputer. I now need a quick answer from team two. D. Electronic D, which is Electronic Corporation of India. I'm afraid that's incorrect. All right, to the audience, I saw that hand very fast. I am Samir Sethi of class 9th. Okay, Samir, what do you think is the right answer? I think option B. Option B, which is Center for Development of Advanced Computing. According to you, that's the organization behind the brains of Param Supercomputer. Well, he's absolutely right. Let's clap for him. Good answer. Good answer there. And enjoy your gift hamper. All right then, moving now to team number three, the champions from Orissa DAV Public School. DAV, here comes your question on your monitors. Why is potassium permanganate used for purifying drinking water? And your options are A, it kills germs. B, it dissolves the impurities. C, it is a reducing agent or is it D, it is an oxidizing agent. Read the options carefully. Yes, team three, can we have an answer from you now? C, it is a re reducing agent. It is not a reducing agent. Who wants to take that in the first row? Sir, I think so. It's D. It's, it's D, oxidizing. which is it is an oxidizing agent. What is your name, friend? Samaksh Monga from Cambridge. Samaksh. Samaksh is absolutely right. Let's clap for him. It is an oxidizing agent. Perfect answer, Samaksh. All right, then the last question of this round is a direct for Teja Telangana. Teja Telangana, if you're ready, we'll have your question on your monitors now. Talking about Project Loon, sometimes seen or heard in the news, is related to which of the following? Your options are as follows. A, waste management technology. B, wireless communication technology. 
C. Solar power production technology or is it D. Water conservation technology. So it's option B. Wireless communi communication technology. Teja Telangana this time is absolutely right. Let's clap for them. Pulling 10 points. Well answered Teja Telangana. Well then that about does it for the second round of this quiz. It's a good time to have a second look at the scorecard. At this point in time, Teja, Vidya Mandir, Andhra Pradesh, they are on 20 points. Please clap for them. <laughs> Moving to Daffodil's Concept School, Karnataka, team number two, they are yet to open their account. Please do so at the earliest. All right, towards team C, DAV Public School, Orissa, they are on 10 points. Please clap for them. And the young team from Telangana, Teja Telangana, they are on 20 points. So let's clap for Teja Telangana. All right then, we have reached the third round of this exciting quiz. And the third round is going to make this quiz even more exciting. To the four teams on stage, the next round is the rapid fire round. Listen to the rules of this round carefully. You can take as many questions as you can within the stipulated time frame of 60 seconds. Her team ko 60 second diye jayenge. Is 60 second mein aap jitne marzi question le sakte hain. You get plus 10 points for each correct answer. There are no negatives and if you do not know an answer feel free to say pass we'll come back to the question if time permits and please do not wait for me to complete the question if you're confident about your answer you can give the answer without having a look at the options clear to all the teams all right all the best this is going to proceed at a fast pace so as they say brace yourself for the impact Team number one, Teja Vidya Mandir, Andhra Pradesh. If you are ready, we'll start your clock starting now. First question, which of the following is used as a lubricant? Graphite, silica, iron oxide or diamond? Graphite. Is correct. The currency of Myanmar is A. Taka, B. Gultram, C. Kayat, Dinar. C. Kayat. Kayat is correct. Next question, the present Secretary General of UNO belongs to which country? C. Portugal. C. Portugal is correct. Which organ of the human body is known as islet of Langhans? C. Pancreas. Is, it, is correct. Next question. In the movie Tare Zameen Par, the central character Ishan suffers from which disease? Dyslexia. Dyslexia is also correct. The ruins of which dynasty are found in Hampi? Chola dynasty, Pandya, Bahmani, Vijayanagar. Vijayanagar. Is correct. What NTPC is going to buy to mitigate concerns on air pollution? Farm stubble, B. Cow manure, C. Sugarcane molasses, D. Dried wheat. Farm stubble. And your time is up, but I'll allow that since I had completed the question. Your answer once again. Farm stubble. Farm stubble is also correct. Well done, team. <laughs> team <laughs> <Mr>. <laughs> Good strategy deployed by them. You took as many questions as you could within the stipulated time frame. Or apne kafi achha kiya hai. Bahut sare prashno ke apne sahi jawab diye. But kuch idhar udhar chhut gaye. That doesn't matter. You have done pretty well. All right then to Daffodil's Concept School. Sorry to remind you that you haven't opened your account yet. This is perfect time to do that. Sixty seconds. Take as many questions as you can. So gentlemen, if you are ready, we'll start your clock starting now. Koneru Hampi is associated with which sport? Chess. Chess is correct. Next question. Who was the architect of the city of Chandigarh? Edwin Latians, Job Chanak, Lee Corbusier. Pass. 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 Passing. Next question. Deuce is a term associated with which sport? Lawn tennis, hockey, Pass. cricket, football. Pass it. Steep grassland is found in South Africa, Australia, Central, Central Asia, Asia, Brazil. Central Asia. Central Asia is correct. DRDO or the Defense Research Development Organization has developed a 
drug named Leukoskin. It is being used in Leukoderma. the of Leukoderma. Leukoderma is correct. Kimberley in South Africa Diamond. is Diamond. famous for Diamond. Diamond is correct. Headquarter of NABAD or the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development Chandigarh. is at Mumbai. Chandigarh. Chandigarh is incorrect. Mumbai is the right answer. Van Mahotsav was started by your time Pass. is up, Pass. but I'll take that since I had started the question. Van Mahotsav was started by A. Maharshi Karve, B. Balgangada yeah. Dilak, C. K. M. Munshi, or D. Sanjay Gandhi. Maharshi Karve. No, the right answer is K. M. Munshi. So that about does it for the direct questions for Daffodils Concept School. Let's clap for them, please. All right then. Now moving to the left side and DAV Public School Orissa will now face the volley of questions. DAV Public School Orissa, if you are ready, we'll start your clock now. First question, the death anniversary of which of the following leaders is Mark observed? Mahatma Gandhi is correct. During British rule, Delhi became capital of India in 1910. 1911. 1911 is absolutely right. Next question. Who composed the famous Muhammad songs? Iqbal. Muhammad Iqbal. Sare Jahan Se Achha was the question. Right answer. What is laughing gas? Nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is also correct. Alzheimer's disease is... Brain cells. The correct answer is nerve cells. Oh. Wilson's disease is caused by the excess of dash in human body. Sodium, sodium iron, sodium. copper or cobalt? Sodium. Copper is the right answer. Which of the following Veda is the source of the famous Gayatri Manth? Is it Rig Ved, Yajur Ved, Upanishad or the Sam Ved? Yajur. No, the correct answer is Rig Ved. Next question. Which marine animals have no eyes? Algae, corals, shrimps or crabs? Crab. No, the correct answer is corals. Which fresh water? Okay, we are done. We cannot allow that question to you. Your time is up. All right, then. Uh, they did fairly well, and I think they deserve a round of applause. Let's clap for the They answered a lot of questions even without having the options. So good going, Team DAV Public School. Let's see if that effort of yours is good enough to propel you to the national finale. Only time will tell. All right then. Next set of direct questions is for Teja Telangana, possibly the youngest team out here. Teja Telangana, if you are ready, we'll start your set of questions starting now. First question, among how many states does 1600 plus kilometer long Western Ghats run? Eight. Seven. The correct answer is six states. Which company rolled out India's first bio CNG? Tata Motors. Tata Motors is the right answer. Which is one of the world's fastest warming regions? Is it Arctic, Antarctic? Greenland. Greenland is incorrect. Antarctic is the right answer. NGT has banned open defecation and dumping of waste. Yamuna, sorry? Ganga. Ganga is incorrect. Yamuna is the right answer. What is India's first solar powered boat called? Kiran, Jyoti, Surya, or Aditya? Jyoti. No, Aditya is the right answer. India is the largest emitter of which poisonous gas? Sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is correct. Which country has the highest incidence of pollution linked deaths in then the world? India. India is correct. Next question. And I'm afraid your time is up. Well, you did pretty well for yourselves. Let's clap for Teja Telangana. <laughs> Good going from Teja Telangana. So then, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the third round of this quiz. We'll go into a short break. Please do join us back because this quiz is getting really exciting. Thank you for watching. Petroleum products will not last forever. There is an urgent need to conserve these scarce resources like diesel and fuel by adopting good driving habits, better maintenance of vehicles by use of public transport instead of own vehicles. So friends, let us contribute in saving the fuel 
and help the nation. Download the PCRA Android app to know more about saving fuel. Issued in public interest by Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Government of India. Hello. Good news, sir. आज से आपको पेट्रोल पे 20 परसेंट का डिस्काउंट मिलेगा। 20 परसेंट, 20 परसेंट। लॉटरी लगी। तो मेरे बाकी के पैसे इन्होंने डाले? वो तो आपके हाथ में है ना? 45 की स्पीड पे गाड़ी चलाइए, रेड लाइट पे इंजन ऑफ कर दीजिए। 20 परसेंट पेट्रोल तो जरूर बचेगा। बात तो वही है ना? PCRA का एंड्रॉइड ऐप डाउनलोड करें और ईंधन बचाने के उपाय जानें। पेट्रोलियम संरक्षण अनुसंधान संघ, पेट्रोलियम एवं प्राकृतिक गैस मंत्रालय, भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी पर्यावरण को बचाने के लिए जिस तरह से हम लोगों को सभी चीज़ों के एक होलिस्टिक अप्रोच लेके चलनी होगी ऐसा नहीं है कि हम केवल वाहनों के प्रयोग को आज की डेट में ऐसा पॉसिबल नहीं है कि वाहनों को रोका जा सकता हो पूरी तरह से इसके लिए सबसे पहले सरकार को और हम सभी को मिलकर ये जिम्मेदारी एक उठानी होगी कि हम ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट का प्रयोग करें कार पुल का प्रयोग करें और पर्यावरण को बचाने के लिए हम जितने ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा संभव हो सके उतना हम प्लांटेशन करें All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this exciting quiz. You are watching PCRA Presents Saksham 2018. We are done with the first three rounds of the quiz. Before we go to the next round, it's a good time to have a look at the scoreboard. At this point in time, Teja Vidya Mandir, Andhra Pradesh, they are leading the quiz with 90 points. Let's clap for them, please. <laughs> Team number two, they have picked up they are on 40 points. Let's clap for them. <laughs> DAV Public School, the champions from Odisha on 50 points. And the young team, Teja Telangana, also on 50 points. All right then, this is closer than I thought it would be. Most of the teams are clustered on 40, 50, one team is a little ahead on 90 points, but that can significantly change in the next two rounds. The reason is, round number four is on buzzer. Here are the rules of the game. This entire round is on Earth Sciences. We have four questions, but it will be played on the buzzer. The fastest team on the buzzer will be allowed to take the first crack. In fact, the only crack, plus 20 points if you get it right. But if you press the buzzer and give me a wrong answer or decide to pass after pressing the buzzer, you pick up a negative 10 points. So, is pure round ka saad sif ek hi hai. Buzzer tabhi dabaye jab aap relatively confident ho apne answer ke baare mein because there is a plus 20 and a minus 10 at stake. So if you are ready, ladies and gentlemen, we'll start the Earth Sciences round now. The first question, Pangaea is the name of a former Thank continent you. that that's team number two, Daffodils Concept. All the continents. All the continents. Didn't I tell you, Daffodils, there is a negative component attached to this round. Oh my God, minus 10 points is something that Daffodils wouldn't get on this one. Plus 20 points, they are absolutely right. Well done, sir, Daffodils. All the continents is absolutely right. Plus 20 points. With that, you move up to 60 points. But you still have some distance to go to catch up with Teja Vidya Mandir. Next question on the buzzer. Here we go. Cloud droplets unite most easily around which of the following substances to form raindrops in clouds? And your options, A, ozone, B, plant pollen, C, carbon tetrachloride, or is it D, large salt crystals? Large salt crystals. These are the four options. Please, Hit the buzzer if you are relatively confident of your answer. I'm going to 
Keep it. Yeah, some team late pass. I'm going to allow that Lats. to team number two. What's your answer? I think it's uh, D. Lats or Crystals. You think? But it's you need fixed. to be confident. It's fixed. fixed. It's fixed. You don't want to change that. You say it's D large salt crystals. Well, before I tell you whether you are right or wrong, large salt crystals actually exhibit a property called hygroscopic. Because they are hygroscopic, they help cloud droplets unite, which means they are absolutely right. Well done. Another 20 points. Another 20 points to Jaffodil's Concept School from Karnataka. So now then, you move up to 80 points within striking distance of the leaders at this point in time. Well, just to inform the other three teams, you are also playing the game. All right, so look sharp on the buzzer. All right then, the third question of the buzzer round, here it comes on your monitors. Which of these events gives us evidence that the Earth is spherical? And your answer was? C, an eclipse of the moon. An eclipse of the moon. Well, they are living dangerously as of now. They started this round with 40 points on the board and they have hit three on three. Well done once again. Plus 20 points. Plus 20 points. They have picked up 60 points on the trot. And now you are clear of team one who were on 90 points before we started this round. Last question of the Earth Sciences round. Here it comes on your monitor. Scientific study of the atmosphere that focuses on weather processes and forecasting is called? Meteorology C. Meteorology C. This time team one is back to the top spot. Well done. 20 points. Oh my god, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. A cat and mouse game going on between team one and team two. All right, before we reveal the scores after the end of this really, really exciting round, I have one question for the audience. The good thing is, you don't have to press the buzzer. You just have to raise your hand in case you want to take this. All right, audience, your question is rather simple. Where in Andaman and Nicobar Island is India's only live volcano situated? Which is the place? Your options are, listen to the options first. A, Barren Island. B, Havelock Island. C, Ross Island. Or is it D, Neil Island? I saw your hand first on the third row. A part, Barren Island. Barren Island. Have you visited that part of India? Not Have you been yet. to Andaman and Nicoba? Not yet. Not yet, but if you go there, make it a point to visit Barren Island. It's a lovely little place and you are absolutely right. Let's clap for him. All right. We have just about enough time to throw some questions towards the audience. This is specifically for the audience. Listen to the question carefully. The first Muslim ruler to introduce the system of price control was, and your options are as follows. Iltutmish, B, Jalaluddin Khilji, C, Muhammad bin Tughlaq, or is it D, Alauddin Khilji? Yes, you need to stand first your name and then the answer. My name is Alok. Hi Alok, uh, welcome and what's your answer? It's D point. D. And Alaudin what was Khilji. D? What was D? You need to tell me. Alauddin Khilji. D. Alauddin Khilji. Alright, he is absolutely right. Let's clap for him. It's a good time to have a look at the scores once again. Well then, let's come back to the main quiz. Only one round remains. And I all teams ko yaad dila du ki aap log khel rahe hain ek spot jo ki baki hai national finals ke liye. This is the crunch moment. Please play it well. Listen to the questions carefully. Rather, see the questions carefully because. The last round is a visual round. Here are 
the rules of the game plus 20 points on each correct answer you won't be given any options it is a passing round so if i ask a question to team one if you answer that correctly end of story you get your 20 points just in case you don't answer it correctly we are not giving you any negatives the same question passes on then to team two to team three and then to team four so basically what it means is 20 points flat scoring on the visual round all the best four questions left play well first question team one if you are ready teja vidya mandir andhra pradesh here comes your question on your monitors now she is an exponent of a traditional performing art form which emanates from the state of chhattisgarh in which she enacts tales from the mahabharata which with musical accompaniments now there are two parts to this question i need you to answer both parts correctly in order to get the full 20 points the first part is her name and the second part is you'll have to also tell me the art form that she is a master at who is she and name her art form i will give half points in case you get only part of it right but try for both and we think that uh, the art form is harikada and who is she no idea no idea i'm going to pass that to daffodils concept school the name of the person and the art form you don't have that much time on the rebound chatisgari is art form chatisgari is the art form all right and who is she right congratulations for inventing a new art form for us I'm afraid I can't give you any points for that though. <laughs> Moving across to team number 3, <laughs> DAV Public School Orissa. You think you have an idea on this one? Never pass in a quiz. You can always invent new things. The stage is a perfect place for that. You still want to pass team 3, is it? All right, passing that on to Teja Telangana. Art form, Pandavani. Art form is Pandavani. And who is she? No idea. Sir. Take a guess. Take a guess. And that's time for team number four. Well then, they have given me one part of the answer, right? It is absolutely Pandvani. Please clap for them. But the other part, which you could not answer, is to identify the exponent of Pandvani is Tijan Bai. So I'm going to use my discretion. Team number four gets 10 points, not 20, but they get 10 points for answering only half but of it correctly. All right, then next direct question is for Daffodils Concept School. If you are ready, we'll have your question now on your screens. One of the largest forts in India and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the fort was the capital of Mewar. I believe this is the easier one sir, in the lot. Fort name, sir. What's yeah? Chittagong Fort. Chittagong. Chittagong Fort. So Chittagong somehow miraculously traveled from its original place to Mewar. Is incorrect. Moving to team number three. Chittorgarh Fort. Chittorgarh Fort. In the news recently for some untoward reasons. DLV Public School Odisha, they think absolutely right. They get plus 20 points. This is the world famous Chittorgarh Fort, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Full 20 points to DAV Public School Odisha. And to top that, next direct is actually for you. Here comes the question, which is from the world of music. Look at the picture carefully and tell us it was a regular string instrument of the wandering bards and minstrels from India. It is plugged with one finger to be played. It is a drone lute consisting of a gourd resonator covered with skin through which a bamboo neck is inserted. What is the name of this very popular musical instrument? I'm going to use my discretion here as well. I'll drop in an additional clue. This musical instrument is famously known 
to be played by the baul singers the baul singers of west bengal what is the name of this musical instrument i've given you a direct clue team 3 make use of it you have roughly another 3 seconds to give an answer i don't think i can give you any more time moving that to teja telangana teja telangana interested to give an answer sarod sarod no the sarod does not look like that moving to the right teja vidya mandir jangrina no that's not the answer either to daffod is concept school no all right so the audience does not have a visual clue but i have uh, given enough clues on this one and i see a hand there can a microphone be passed along to him iktara that's your name i want your name first my name is alok alok and you think the answer is that iktara or ektara as we call it in bengal ladies and gentlemen he is absolutely right let's go for him This is indeed the Aktara in Bengali or the Aktara in other languages. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, we started this quiz about an hour back to select the one last team who will make their way to the national finals, and we have reached the last question of the quiz, which is a direct for Teja Telangana. Here comes your question on your monitors now. Look at the person carefully and tell us. why he has been in the news recently you have to give his name though that's the basic question they are still thinking this is the last question though i have a feeling the real fight is between team 1 and team 2 team 4 you want to give an answer koi bhi uttar dena chahte hain to ye aapka last mauka hai nahi dena chahte chaliye hum chalte hain team number 1 ki or arunachal murgan adam is not arunachalam murgunatham sir, sir. is incorrect C1. team 2 he is uh, jumping C1. but c1 uh, isro chairman is isro chairman his name is isro K. chairman C1. and you say c1 k7 yes sir that's fair enough ladies and gentlemen thank you so much sir chairman isro all right ladies and gentlemen we have reached the end of this quiz This was rather exciting and closer than I thought it would be. At the end of the quiz, team 1 on 110 points and are the runners up of this quiz. They lose out narrowly but let's clap for them. 110 points. Very well played the girls from Andhra Pradesh. Right then, Jaipur school they started rather slowly. In fact, they did not open their account until the first few rounds, but at the end of it, they have won the South Zone prelims. Well done to them. Let's clap for Japanese. Hundred and twenty points, and I'll see you at the national finale next week. Prepare well. To DAV Public School, Orissa, they end the quiz with a commendable seventy points. Let's clap for them. And the team number four, Teja Telangana, possibly the youngest team today. They end the quiz on 60 points. Please clap for them. Well done, Teja Telangana. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm really privileged to have the presence of a very important uh, dignitary amongst us. May I call upon Sri Tarachan, Director, Education Campaign of PCRA. to give away the prizes let's clap for sir <laughs> welcome to the group thank you for coming all right so there were other four teams also who participated in the previous round so we'll start the prize distribution with calling them up on stage can i first welcome the winning team the champions from andaman and nicobar can i have the andaman and nicobar team on stage please
Oh boy, I have enjoyed this experience every bit of it. The all the four episodes were really really close but nothing comes closer to this one. So join us again next week to witness history in the making. Four top teams chosen from across the country. You are watching PCRA presents Saksham 2018 do join us again and as i say keep smiling and may god bless you thank you very much पेट्रोलियम पदार्थ सीमित हैं और जल्द ही खत्म हो जाने वाले हैं इसीलिए इन दुर्लभ पदार्थ को बचाना जरूरी है एलपीजी बचाने के लिए प्रेशर कुकर का इस्तेमाल करें पीसीआरए द्वारा बताए गए साधारण टिप्स अपनाएं आइए दोस्तों हम ईंधन बचाएं और देश की प्रगति में हाथ बटाएं